In this video I'm going to show you how to make some uh, soccer bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the main screen of the software. Um, I click uh, create new bingo card project and I have a choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. I can start with a blank bingo card, enter my own um, words or items for the bingo card. Standard US bingo card with the uh, um, numbers in columns, 1 to 15 in the first column, 16 to 30 in the second column and so on. Alphabet, numbers, theme bingo cards. Um, I can choose themed bingos, for example, if I go to events, baby showers, birthday, bridal showers, holidays, which include Christmas, Halloween, and so forth. Um, and I can choose school subjects like math, reading, languages. But um, for soccer, I want to go to the sport tab here. If I go here, there are actually several different um, soccer uh, options already built into the software. Uh, these are um, words and phrases relating to soccer, Premier League clubs, FIFA host nations and so forth. So let's choose the words and phrases related to soccer. I um, click on it, I can uh, either double click or click on it once and then click OK. And I've now created my um, soccer bingo card. Here are the words and phrases related to um, soccer. And um, here's a sample bingo card with the words on it. I can customize um, the word list. So for example, if I wanted to, um, uh, let's have a look what's not on there. If I wanted to delete a uh, ball, I could highlight that and um, delete that. Uh, and if I wanted to add a word, I can type it in here. So for example, if I add free kick, I can type it in and add it. You'll see the new word appears at the bottom of the list. Uh, the initial list was uh, sorted in alphabetical order. I can just simply resort that. Um, oops, sorry, I made a mistake there. If I go do it again. There we are. Um, and uh, there are quite a lot of options for rearranging this list, adding more items, deleting items, customizing it, changing the order, all the things like that. Okay, when you are happy with your word list, you can look at the right hand side here. This allows you to customize the bingo card. First option is the size of the bingo card. I can make a smaller one, like a 3x3, 4x4, the 5x5, which is of course what I started with, and or a larger one up to 6x6, 7x7. We'll stick with 5x5 five five since it's easy to read on the screen. Um, I can also choose whether or not to have that heading on the bingo card, see, in here. I could change the word of it if I wanted to. Choose whether or not to have the free space square in the center of the bingo card. Uh, and again, I could change the word for that if I wanted to. Uh, I can also change the fonts and colors using this uh, options on the format menu. Let's change the colors, for example. Uh, we'll make the squares, perhaps we'll make them, um, uh, we'll make it a checkerboard of um, green squares. Uh, and maybe we'll use uh, OK. And perhaps we'll change this the uh, center square to be uh, a light blue, click OK, and there's my um, colored bingo card. Um, if I wasn't happy with that, I could go back and change it. Perhaps I think I need to change the, um, the colors of the green squares, maybe change the text of those to be yellow, so that's a bit more obvious on the background, and I'll say I'm now happy with that. could change the top color as well. I can also change the fonts. But assuming that I'm happy with it and I'm now ready to print, I'll start looking at the printing options on the right hand side here. Uh, the first option is whether or not to print a call list. The call list is basically an extra sheet with this list of words in random order. Uh, it's very useful if you're the bingo caller and you want to call out the items. Um, uh, but uh, of course, it means that you've got a predefined list. If you don't want to use a call list, you can simply uncheck this option. If you want it, you leave it checked on. I'll leave it checked on for now. Um, and you can see what it looks like when I do the printing. Uh, but there is another option in the software where uh, the software will help you choose items one at a time, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Second option is how many bingo cards to put on each page. I could put more than one, one bingo card on a page, um, potentially allowing me to save paper, I've got up to four on a page. Um, the advantage, of course, is saving paper. The disadvantage is each individual bingo card will be smaller, and if I want to give out the bingo cards to um, one per player, one per student, whatever, I'd have to cut the, bin the paper up to do that. So we'll stick to one per page for now so you can see what it looks like. 
And lastly, how many different bingo cards do I want to print? I can put in a number between 1 and 9,999. Now, the sample bingo cards contains the words in the same order as this list here. The real bingo cards will contain uh, a different random selection of the words in a different random order on every bingo card. So it's a very easy way to produce lots of um, different bingo cards with very minimal amount of effort. So let's put in 50, for example. Now ready to do print. I'll in fact do print preview so you can see what printout would look like. Uh, first page is the call list. There you see the list of words in random order. Uh, if I scroll down, you can see the whole list. Um, if I um, zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then I'll do next to show you the first bingo card. There you are. And if I do next, the second one's different, and so on. All 50 of them are 50 different bingo cards. And you can see how easy it was to make that list. When I'm done, I can uh, close the print preview. Uh, there's just one more thing I'll show you in this video, um, which is the software includes an option to help you call items as an alternative method to the caller. So if I do call game, it will choose one word at random, show it here, and it shows me that current word on the left-hand side. But when I click next, it will give me a new word at random here, and it will show me the current item and any previous items on the left-hand side. So you can see how that works there. So that's uh, it. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. The website is bingocardprinter.com. Uh, software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC. Um, there is a free trial download, which is, of course, free to try. Uh, and you can download that from the website. Um, if you like it, you can upgrade to the full version, which is what's shown in this video, and which allows you to do everything you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. Both the free trial version and the full version includes hundreds of um, templates for bingo activities that are ready to use, or of course you can create your own custom bingo activities using your own words or phrases or numbers or whatever you want to put on your bingo cards. So the software is called Bingo Card Printer, website bingocardprinter.com. Go to the website, download it, try it out, see what you think, let me know. Thank you very much.